Ready to learn a third way to extract information from a cell using Excel functions find and len and formulas left and right? Rod here and welcome to Burn to Learn. Here we have a list of companies by their names, locations, and email addresses. We need to extract the full names of our contacts from their email address. We will do this by first using the find function, which is a tool that identifies the location in a text string where we want Excel to look. In this case, we want Excel to find the at sign. So we go to cell G5 and write an equal sign plus the word find and an open parentheses. Then type a quotation mark the at sign, and another quotation mark, followed by a comma. Then select cell F5, where Excel will find the information, and then type a close parenthesis and press enter. And you get the number 14, which means the at sign is in the 14th position in the cell. You can use this same process to instruct Excel to find whatever else you may want, like a comma or a space or whatever. Having successfully used the find function, we can now write the complete formula to tell Excel how to extract the full name of our contact from the left side of the at sign. Here's how. Go to column H and write an equal sign plus the word left and an open parenthesis. Then select cell F5 followed by a comma. Write the word find and an open parenthesis. Then type a quotation mark the at sign, and another quotation mark, followed by a comma. Now select cell F5 and type a close parenthesis. Now complete the formula by typing a minus 1 and a close parenthesis, which tells Excel to use only the data on the left, beginning with the 13th position. Now press Enter, and you get the full name of our contact. Like what you've seen so far? Well, there's more useful information still to come. And please remember to subscribe to our channel and review more videos. Now let's learn how to use the len function, which is a tool that indicates the length of characters in a cell. Here's how. Go to cell G5 and type an equal sign plus the word len and an open parenthesis. Select cell F5 where the information is followed by a close parenthesis. Now press enter and you get the number 23, which is the number of characters in cell F5. So now let's suppose we want to extract the extension of the email. To do this, go to cell H5 and type an equal sign plus the word right and an open parenthesis. Now select cell F5 followed with a comma. Then type the word len and an open parenthesis. Now type F5 with a closed parenthesis. Then type a minus sign followed by the word fine with an open parenthesis. Now type a quotation mark, the at sign followed by another quotation mark plus a comma. Then type F5 with a closed parenthesis and then type another closed parenthesis to complete the formula. Now press enter and you get the extension of the email address. This happens because our formula instructed Excel to extract the right part of the cell E5 from the length of the cell after the at sign. You have three ways to extract text from a cell. This one may look complicated, but it's not. All you need to do is click the button below and practice. Let us know if you liked this video and feel free to share it with others. And don't forget to subscribe so you can follow our channel. Thanks so much for watching.